Guys, I'm mining Warthog, but I'm also dual mining Ergo. Is it worth it? Let's find out. So if you are unaware, or maybe most of you are aware, here we do have BZ Miner's latest beta version. It's not currently on the GitHub yet. This is a separate website. Uh, this is at bzminer.com beta betas and so on. You know, I'll have that link down in the description there in case you guys want to check it out. But it did allow a new dual combo of Ergo plus Warthog as well as Block X plus Warthog. Makes sense Block X would work because it's running the same algorithm as Ergo. So I've been putting this to the test, checking out power consumptions and hash rates and losses and unlosses and so on to see, you know, is it more profitable to dual mine with Warthog? So Warthog is an interesting beast. So it requires a good CPU paired with a GPU and it's using all core based here and hardly anything memory based at all. And that's where Ergo comes in because it's a memory intensive coin. Therefore, dual mining is a good combo with this. All right, so here's some numbers I found by testing out my 5950X with the 3060 Ti. As you can see, it's using a bit more power than I have my numbers up here because this one does have an AIO and stuff in it so now you're powering a pump some more fans and things like that anyway point here is let's take a look at the difference in revenue and profits and so on based on current prices right now so currently ergo sitting at about a dollar 80 wart sitting at about 80 cents right now uh with the 5950 x3060 ti on just ward alone it's about 594 mega hash on warthog here and that's going to cost me about 0 0.68 cents so 68 cents in power at 11 cent per kilowatt hour using 260 watts that is a revenue of a dollar 12 right now per day and after power that's going to cost 44 cents is your profit that you after you're done covering the power cost and stuff remember 11 cent power a lot of people have a lot more so the profits will be less and people have cheaper power that profits will be more now moving on to with the ergo mining that did take us from 260 watts upwards to 315 watts depending how you run your memory at 5001 i didn't put the numbers down but i was losing hash rate i was only doing like 23 to 30 mega hash on ergo so i did set an offset to 2000 in linux that would be 1000 in windows that did push the power up even more to where we have here at 315 watts that is going to cost me 83 cents per day in power we lost a little bit of hash rate here on uh, Janus hash here for Warthog, it's down to now 545 mega hash and we are upwards to 94.8 mega hash now on ergo so that does work out to be between the two here of a dollar 35 per day and that is a profit range of 52 cents so we did make an extra eight cents with the extra power and stuff at 11 cent per kilowatt hour now here's the big thing here ergo in the past bull runs here it does pump upwards to 17 dollars in 2017 or end of end of it here at early 2018 and then in the last bull run it did pump to a little over 18 dollars so let's say ergo just does $15. Hopefully it sees another all-time high. Ergo price is coming up a bit, but it's nowhere where it should be. All coin season comes, and I really think Ergo is going to touch possibly a new all-time high or at least get close to the previous ones. Who knows where it's going to actually settle, but I do think a big pump will come because it has happened both times in the past here. Again, it might not but I'm being very, you know, uh, open-minded and hopeful that this will happen. So with that being said, if Ergo does pump, and we're currently getting yields of 0 0.12 based on hash rate nose calculator of this amount of hash rate, we're getting 0 0.12 Ergo. That'll equal up to $1.80 that this single GPU is making right now, which would obviously put those profits a lot higher, but you'd have to hodl, and hopefully it hits at least $15. So anyway, guys, this is some quick initial test of the new bz minor beta it is looking like we are a bit more profitable nothing major there but in case ergo does pump in the future you could be seeing a nice little chunk of change here so let me know your thoughts and opinions on this situation down in the comment section if you guys do want a how to mine let me know as well and i'll try to get that together for you it's a lot harder than what it's going to be you're going to have to force some algorithms and stuff in order for this to work but once hive os does implement this through the upgrade it's going to be a really easy thing to set up but right now if you guys want to know how to do it let me know and i will get that done for you guys thank you for watching this video i'll see you on the next one rabbit out